to close out chapter one, he talks about one of the common interpretations of the OBE. One of the most popular interpretations of the OBE is that you are roaming the physical world quite literally as if you were a ghost. Then a bit later, however, often objects that should be there are absent or displaced, or you may encounter events and or people that are not really there. Uh, then he goes on to say what some of the common um, explanations are of this. In the OBE literature, these inconsistencies are often referred to as reality fluctuations or perceptual distortions. It is said that the out-of-body environment is more fluid than regular physical reality, more easily responding to thoughts and expectations of the projector. And then he references back to when he went to his girlfriend's house, right, in the OBE state and saw all the vampires and shit and how she was watching a horror movie with vampires in it. So maybe he was like perceiving her like, you know, mental state at the time. Um, then we'll close out with this. He's talking about some of the uh, popular experiments that were done in the 70s. These experiments usually involved asking a talented subject to establish the out-of-body state and then try to perceive an object in the other room, with the object itself unbeknownst to the projector. Surprisingly, even the most famous and adept projectors were unable to correctly view the object in the other room. There were a few exceptions, but overall, results showed that accurate perception in the out-of-body state was not as straightforward as it is often suggested in the popular literature. Um, he goes on a bit more to kind of rebuttal against that, um, and then basically closes it out saying, you know, we'll have to come to our own conclusions as we work our way through the book. 